Hey guys, Adam here. Today I'm going to show you how to open a nationwide account in 2024. First of all, head over to the nationwide website. Scroll down a bit, you will see current accounts. Click on it. Here you will see three different card options. Select the option that suits you the best. Some of them has monthly fee and some of them are totally free. After selecting your desired card, a new page will open. Here you have to select apply for flex account. Again, a new page will open. For some reason, you have to scroll it down and there will be a same option which will be called apply for a new flex account. Check it and click on apply for flex account once again or if you want to apply offline you can call the numbers given here which means if you don't have internet connection you can still open a flex account so if you chose to apply online a new page will open here it will ask you if you want to open a joint account select yes or no after that click on start application click on get started on the about you section and then it will ask you some basic information about you for example your first name middle name last name has your name changed in the last 12 months, your date of birth, your country of birth, your nationality, if you have another nationality, your marital status, how many people depend on you financially, your contact details, your phone number, your email address, your residential address, your postcode, there will be a form. You have to fill all the information correctly. After filling all the information, you have to click on the save button. Then you have to move to the step two, which is your employment and income information. You have to click open. Here it will ask you about your employment status, your annual income before tax, is your income Income likely to decrease in the next two years? Are you liable to pay tax in any other country? And then it will ask you about your industry, your job role, your approximate start date, your employer name, and also it will ask you about the address information where you work. And then it will ask you about your personal expenses like rent or mortgage, property service charges or ground rents, childcare costs and school fees, maintenance to support a previous partner or children, student loan repayments. You have to fill in the form correctly and then click on save. And then it will send you to step three, which is quite easy about arrange overdrafts. Would you like an arrange overdraft? Yes or no? Select your desired option and click on save. Here you will see find out what you're eligible for. You have to click on continue and then it will say you that you'll also get a flex instant saver which is like a savings account based on interest and I'm strictly against it. So I will click on I don't want a flex instant saver and click for apply which will take us to step number four which is switching your bank account click on open it will ask you would you like to switch your account to us so you will have to select yes or no i will select no and click on save continue without switching and then on step number five i will click on open here it will ask me some multiple questions like what will i mainly use this account for how much money do i think i'll pay into this account over the next 12 months and there are also some other questions you have to fill out this form accordingly and then it will give me some patterns about how would i like my name to appear on my card after selecting the appropriate pattern i will scroll down a bit and then they'll ask you how do you like us to contact you whether you want emails you want letters or calls after selecting you have to click on save the second last step and the step number six is i have to accept the terms and condition if you want to read them you can go ahead and after reading them you have to click on the check mark and click on continue as you can see it will not let me continue because it will force me to read the terms and conditions i will click terms and conditions and i have to scroll down all the way to the bottom and then click on i agree and now i will select again on continue and it will proceed me to the last step which is id check I will click on open and now it will give me two options to verify my ID. If I want to submit them offline, I will skip this part and click on continue. And I have to submit the bank manually by visiting them. The online option is more convenient. All I have to do is click a photo of my identity card and I have to upload it. And also I have to take my photo which is also called a selfie and I have to submit them. After my ID verification, my application has been submitted successfully. Now all I have to do is wait for them. It will take approximately two working days and then I will receive an email or a letter or a call and they will let me know if my application is approved or not. If you have submitted all of your information correctly then your application is likely to be approved and that's how I can open a nationwide account in 2024. If you found this video helpful then make sure to hit the like button and also don't forget to subscribe.